VOD watchers, welcome back to our titulating run of Elden Ring. I appreciate so much those of you that have been watching these VODs on YouTube. Thank you for taking time to deal with the madness with me. We had a very productive stream last time. I hope that this one will be maybe just as productive. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the stream. Leave a comment if you got something you want to say. But I will say the same thing that I say before every live stream when I'm over on Twitch. In the comments, please do not spoil or backseat in any way, shape, or form. I will remove your comment if you do and potentially even hide you from the channel. I do not appreciate assistance with this game at all. Let me struggle. Just let me do it. I promise you I'm having fun. I wouldn't be playing this if I wasn't having fun. I enjoy the struggle. But thank you for being here. Thanks for watching the VOD. Let's rock. I gotta kill my overlay here. There we go. What's on your head? Pumpkin helmet. You planning on playing this game to completion? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Alright, so we... I went the lower route. Oh, I died from the rats. Okay, that was where we left off, was I died from the rats down in the rat cellar. Pumpkin Hat is fantastic. I really enjoy this armor. It's just, it's very, it's very Souls-like in its design. Like, stuff that just doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's see if we can sneak past the cockroach guy. This guy's a bitch to fight. It's not like I have a million souls that I'm missing, but... By the way, are we good on sound? Audio's fine? Alright, good. Oh, she mad, but it's fine. She ain't gonna be able to get in here. We're gonna kill this guy up top. By the way, you can still tag me in chat if you like. Um, I will still chat with people. Maybe a little quiet. We were able to tell better when the fight happens. Yeah. It sounds quiet on my end. That's, that's the only reason I ask. How did she get in that room in the first place? No idea. Game's plenty loud. All right. Good night, Alina. I actually want to I want to turn the music the music is the maybe the best damn part of this entire game. So let's get the music up. There we go. All right. This is going to be a bitch. Cuz I'm going to have to kite dudes into this room, I think, and I don't really know how well that's going to work. Like, look at that. There's like a guy on the on the crossbow. Bunch of dudes on the crossbow. And there's no real alternate way to go. And once I get down there, there's like a there's just so many rats. There's so many rats. Like, hey boys. Come on in. Okay, y'all are just gonna... Okay, so they're just gonna... They're just gonna shoot crossbows at me. Come on. Come on in. Fight me like the red-robed 
idiots ye are. Ah! I'm at you! Oh shit. That dude pulled his sword out crazy fast. I also thought I killed him. Not good. Right. Ooh, exile armor. I'll be interested to know if that is worthwhile. Come on in. Come on in, fellas. Good question. I've been having dreams lately of my ex and I being happy together, but I have no desire to get back together with him. Is it possible dreams are just memories or wishes that could have been? We don't know anything about dreams. Uh, dream interpretation is quite literally in the eye of the beholder. It, it means whatever you think it means. So make whatever meaning out of it is useful to you. I, I, I tend to go in the line of like, dreams are just dreams. They're, uh, they certainly can be things that are on your mind and important to you, but it doesn't mean that they absolutely are. Come on. We're gonna have to just slowly pick these guys off. This is a, this is a game of patience. Here we go. All oh, these guys are chilling behind these fire crossbows, and I need come on need this guy to come in here. We'll take care of this guy, and then we'll see what happens. What do you mean, Mia? Thing, the thing about dreams is like we, there's no good research on them. We don't really understand them well. Um, did we ever beat the Beyblade monster thing? No, we did not. Oh well, yes. Well, the Beyblade monster. Uh, are you talking about like the cockroachy thing that's in this room behind me? bad. Speaking of trumpets. Alright, so fire's not good. I don't have very good protection from fire here. I expected you to say dreams are dreams part, not the make meaning of them as you will. I think, like, make meaning out of them as you will is... Yeah. I mean, I, it's a little bit different than what I might normally say. I, it's more of like a... People often want therapists to interpret their dreams, and that's just not really a, uh, a thing that we can actually do very well. Given how, like, there's really no science behind it. All right, we're doing okay here. Let me try to go up. This guy's got a big sword. Oh, oh god. Okay. Ooh. That dude would have hit me with that. That would have really sucked. I don't like how many chalices I've had to drink from already. Okay. Okay. He's 
guys apparently just don't care. Ooh, we got a big boy over there. worse this could be worse I, I'm, I'm not disappointed so far with how this is going it looks like this is probably what would have happened if we had gone through the main gate is my guess imagine if they cared yeah it would really suck like if all of them had descended upon me at once like the rats down in that cellar this would be so much worse Ooh, a pike. I want to also make sure that I check out that armor to see if it's any better than what I had. Magic grease. Getting all these runes. This is nice. Exile gauntlets. All right, let's take a look. Uh, we're looking at a pretty big downgrade. Yep. Massive downgrades. So. Let's. Can I just drop these? I mean, I suppose I could sell them if I go some. Well. I guess I'm not over encumbered yet, so. Leave it as is. Alright, now I have to figure out if I want to fight the rats or if I want to fight this big boy. Perhaps we can kite the rats out. Because now... I don't have to worry about going back upstairs. Let's kite the... Oh, wait a minute. No, this is useless for me to do because I can't get through that door. So, let me just chill. Let me just get this. Don't worry about me, fellas. See you later. Oh! Oh! All right. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. You want to do this? I have the high ground, Anakin. Oh, shit. Waste of a flask. Now... Yep, don't backseat. You'll get your shit removed. Mods are all over it. Thank you, Mia. Alrighty. I want to make sure that there are no rats that are going to just, like, sneak out at me. Fireproofed ride. I'm sword and board all the way, Arcana. Any Souls game I ever play, that is exclusively what I do. I'm not into magic. Magic is cheap. And I find it very boring and one-dimensional, even though I know it's not. And I know I probably just pissed off a bunch of people watching the VOD by saying that. This doesn't... Uh, magic has never appealed to me in these types of games. 
Wooden great shield. No, it's got better attack power, but it doesn't have as good a damage negation, so we're not going to go with that either. I would love to get a better shield. To me, that would be... That, that's like priority number one for me, and then, then armor. I really do want to fight this big guy. But something tells me... What do you think? You guys think I can get that? You guys think I can get that grabbed? Either maybe I just sneak past him? Maybe we just kind of see what else is out here for me? We date around a little bit? Maybe we go touch that Grace over there? Yeah, that's what we do. That's absolutely what we do. Armory. Iron pumpkin ha man hating magic. Ah, uh, I know, Juice. I know. It's not open from this side. Oh, I don't. It's I don't hate magic as a concept. I don't like magic for me. I just not. I, I've never enjoyed playing as magic builds. I do like Palpatine, but... Oh, I forgot to put my shield up. Oh, I forgot to put my shield up. Okay. Well, oh, this is not good. Nope, not good. Roll! Ah he killed his own dog! Oh my god, he killed his own dog! Holy shit, run. Run! Oh, okay, so in hindsight, if you're going to fight a man that'll kill his own dog to come get you, you should probably chuck... You should probably chuck a dagger at him. First. Instead of going into his lair like that, like a, like a knucklehead. Like, let me just do this. Idiot. Idiot. Right, let me kill his dog. His dog's not very nice. Run! No! Oh! Let him kill his own dog again. Okay. Come on in, buckaroo. He kites you. He kites you around this stone thing. This guy does not mess around. He's got reach, but I have flexibility. Something tells me I need to get in closer to him. Yep. Oh! 
Oh yeah, bitch. He knows like every martial art. Oh, I put my shield down. Not good. Not good. Get in close, Ryan. I gotta get in close. I love that. I love that every time. I don't love that though. This guy sucks. This guy big sucks. And now he's got me cornered. Oh my god, back up, right, run! Oh god, run! <laughs> oh. oh my god, run! You get, you get like no window with this guy. No! Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> God. I hate it. I'm dead. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Oh my God. We were making good headway though. We're making good headway. Oh, I don't even know if this guy's worth it. That's the thing is like, I don't even know if what he's guarding is worth my time. It's gotta be right. I mean, honestly, I want to beat him just to say that I beat him. Good! 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 <laughs> Off to a good start, Ryan! <laughs> I do, Adrian. Let me, uh, let me fight this guy first, and then I'll be happy to answer that for you. Oh, God. Kill your dog, dude! Kill your dog! Not me! Kill your dog! Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I am, I am, I am so screwed. In the corner. Yep. Nope. Yep. All right. At least we get to try it again. This is uh. So what you don't do is you don't go sit in the corner when you got a guy that's got about four times your reach and a dog. Doc, do you have an opinion about EMDR therapy? I'm searching for a therapist at the moment. I'm not sure if it's something to avoid or if I should remain open to trying it. I've seen a few profiles specializing it. Uh, if you're trying to work through trauma, Adrian. As long as a person is EMDR certified and their vibes look good to you. Uh, EMDR is one of the increasingly empirically supported approaches 
helping folks work through trauma. So if it it can be intense, but I know many people who will test uh, testify to the fact that it has been immensely helpful to them. So if you're trying to work through some trauma, not a bad not a bad approach. Just make sure that the person is actually certified in it. Unbelievable. This guy. This guy. Alright, there's no sneaking up on this guy. Kill your dog, brother. Kill your dog. Not me! Alright, now I'm just getting sloppy. So that's not how we're gonna do this. This guy looks like Stitches. Yeah, you bet, Adrian. Yeah, it's, uh, again, you got people who say that it was great for them. There's other folks that will say that it was a little too intense. They weren't ready for it. All right, we're not, we're just, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna kite them in. We're gonna do this the right way. This dog is stronger, though, than some of the other ones. All right, come on. Kill your dog. Kill your dog. There we go. Thank you. Reset. Can't decide if going around his shit. If going around his left or his right is the better option. He's just as fast with his sword as he is his offhand. And also, I don't get why I'm having such a hard time stick, staying locked on him. I think it might be because of the pillars. Probably, okay, so I probably need to go towards sword hand. Let's try it. I mean, there's just... Right. I don't think he's worth it. I really don't think he's worth it. Like, I'm inclined to just go grab the thing that's in front of him, die, and then call it a day for now. So let's try this. What you what you garden? Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The dog. All right. Wait. See you later, buddy. What is this? Is that your painting? Did you paint that? It's good. I'm trying to appreciate your art. Oh. I want to ask your opinion on something. I have a friend who I told was interested in going to art therapy, then recommended doing peer support to get a better idea of art therapy. I just wanted to get your feedback to get multiple opinions about it before making my decision. Uh, the only way you're going to know if art therapy is going to work for you is if you go try art therapy, Captain. So, 
I mean, honestly, if you know, if you think that's something you want to do, and you're open to it, find an art therapist who fits your vibes. Give it a shot. Because art therapy is, I mean, it's its own kind of deal. And I don't know that there's like, I mean, you could certainly like have some experiences that open you up to it. But if you're already open to the idea of going to art therapy, you're already ahead of the game. Like you're already essentially in the mindset that talking to other therapists or being in a peer support group would get you into. So I, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't just try that up front instead of, you know, wasting a whole bunch of time if you know that's what you want to do. Hot right, guys. Oh damn, they actually hit pretty hard. Slow though. <gasps> oh god. Dude, I helped your I helped your brother out. I killed your babies though. I've been killing a lot of babies. Oh, going to in art therapy as a practitioner. Okay, so if you want to do that, uh you should well, I would recommend finding an art therapist in your area or two and asking them about what they do. Like, I don't know that I would just decide to do that necessarily at the outset. It's kind of like its own, like, thing. So the best way that you can find out more about a certain type of therapy is to talk to a person who actually practices doing what it is that you want to do. I have been killing a lot of babies, Justus. I mean, it's kind of a meme around here. He can't get through this door. What, a, what an idiot. Ooh. All right. He bested me on that one. Damn. That pot was really filled with the juice. Like that killed your daddy. Killed your daddy. You so slow. Ah. You just sit here and pout. Tough shit, buddy. God damn it. I deserve that for talking mad shit. explain what is art therapy so flight it's basically it's therapy that is assisted by doing like some sort of like painting or drawing but the art that you do is part of the intervention so it's not just like you know talk and do art although it, i mean it's i guess it can be it's a lot more uh, like targeted and like educated in its practice it's not just you know some willy-nilly person says, let's draw while we talk. There's a boss right here. All right. I don't know. We got a hell of a track record. I don't know what this boss is. I don't know how hard it's going to be. But you can uh you can go ahead and vote. You can go ahead and vote. As a reminder, do not backseat. No worries, Mia. It's all good. I appreciate you being here. It was nice knowing you, Doc. 
Hey, the last couple bosses, I've gotten them. We're gonna find out. I don't even know what to expect. Cutscene. Oh boy, that's always a good sign. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Remember, nice and slow. We're gonna read. Well. This guy's cute. Big axe. Okay. General Kenobi. It seems. Times. Oh my god. Plain as a lord. I command thee. Uh, I would rather I not. I am the lord of all that is golden. Oh, dude. All right, we gotta read his movements. We gotta learn him. I was born with this blade. Oh! All right, so he's got, oh! Okay. 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 I I I'm of the mind that, <laughs> that I I didn't even get hit by him. I didn't even hit him. I don't know that that counts. Okay? I learned one move. Oh my god. All right, so now I know there's an edge. Now I know there's an edge. Okay, we've learned something. All right, he's got a jump attack. Wham, wham. I'm gonna need him to just break this graveyard up for me. It's pretty slow. Brother. hidden. Yeah. 
feel like I got a decent idea here. So we're gonna let him just kind of swipe, swipe. Throw your wind at me. Gonna roll, and he's gonna do the draggy thing. to clear these tombstones out. This is a really difficult battlefield to navigate. are ready for the long haul. I love that question more than you could ever know. Miss for that. He doesn't miss. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, oh no, I'm too close to the edge. Oh no! Except that he's gonna hit me with that every time. That's all. Like I, I literally just there's nothing I'm gonna do there. Pick my spots. Away from him when he does. 
does that because I'm worried about him hitting me. And I can't really afford for him to hit me if he's going to take out, like, basically my entire shield on that move. Cliff never misses. The cliff never misses. Never. <sighs> I feel I you know what? We can do this. We can do this. It's this is like, I, I've got him figured out. It's just, I can't be doing dumb shit like that, chat. Somersaults. <laughs> you try to run away. Slightly more aggressive. Okay, can't run away. Can't run away. All right, it was worth the try. Now we know. It's the only way I would have known. Basically to where we were last time in about a quarter of the time. So I feel okay about this. Missed. Uh-oh. 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 And... That move is a bitch.
away. Run away. Oh. He, so he groans before he does that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dragon comes alive at some point during this battle. That is gonna big suck. I don't know if I already said that, but that seemed like a useful way to fight him into a spot where he can't really hit me. this to our advantage. Let's see how much leeway I have over here. Okay, I got plenty of leeway, so... Oh, shit! So like I can kind of get close. Like if he does that move, that that move is literally death for me. Yep. Damn it. That Thank you, Godric.
Holy shit. Oh, he hit himself. What did you do that for? Okay, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, use his head as your arm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? And of course, I can't guard fire, so this is gonna really suck because I got no chance against fire. I'm gonna have to be in nice and close. We're not ready. We're not ready. I don't have fire resistance. There's no way. One thing if he has the dragon as his, as his arm. But, uh... Yeah, that dude's burninating the countryside. And I'm one of the peasants. I, there's no chance there. I mean, to get phase two is good, but yeah, that was, uh... There's just no way. There's absolutely no way that we're fighting him right now. It was a it was a good try. We know what to expect. Once I get some fire resistance, you can bet your ass we'll be back. But for now, I'm trying to think of where we even where else we even have to go in this castle. Like we've done a huge chunk of it. Like this room I don't think had anything. Uh across the way is where we came from. I guess we could go up here. I haven't gone up here yet, but this is my first time, Skate, yes. And again, as a reminder, this is a spoiler-free, backseating free run. Oh, I don't want to summon. Uh, so make sure you don't backseat or spoil anything, or else you will be timed out, potentially even banned. Oh, come here, Swordhawk. That blows fire? I didn't. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, I wasn't expecting fire. Dude, fire. I got to figure out how to get some fire resistance in my life. 
Yeah, I don't know that I'd be playing this game in the morning. This this game sets a bad tone for how the day is going to go. I'm more of a let's play Elden Ring at the end of the night so I can go to bed hating myself. I assumed that the elevator was going to be there. And, uh... It wasn't. You gotta pull the lever, Kronk. Oh, man. I'm just looking, just... Just reading chat, no problem. Okay. Before we go over to little fire birdie. Yeah, so I've heard aggressive. Um, I didn't pay $60 to beat a game in seven minutes. There we go. There we go. Stupid ass bird. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> At least I got the pumpkin helmet. That's right. Go sneaky, sneaky. What's up, homie? A lot of smithing stones. So, I mean, we're, I gotta make, I gotta make my ship better. That's what I need to do. Yeah, it was like 60 bucks or something like that. I don't know. I've got it on... Uh, I wish it was on Game Pass. Game Pass spoils me for everything else. You know? It's like, hey, Ryan, here's 300 games for free or however many it is. Oh, Bird... Okay, Bird sees right through... This is the... Wow. Wow. Damn, dude, these birds suck. These birds big suck. about beating the game in seven minutes is that it usually requires hours of prep beforehand. So you say. It just doesn't sound enjoyable to me. I want to spend the rest of my life trying to best this game. That's not true. Give me this golden seed. Yes. Yes. That's big time. Oh, we're just on the other side. Okay. All right. What did you do? You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. 
Hey, so there's this guy that can rip a dragon's head off and then make it blow fire. Would you mind helping me with that? Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. Okay. If you intend to challenge Godric, Which I do. I'll ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Apologies, but I've asked. I was just kind of just spitballing. I didn't think she'd actually take me up on that. So. Maybe. Uh, Charlie, I can, but I would need probably about two to three hours to do that. So, unless you've got a specific question, I don't know that there's much that I can say in this context. Identity is a huge topic. That's not a, that's not a Dr. Mick talks for 30 seconds and everybody feels a little more enlightened. Identity is, is a huge All right, well, now I'm a little bit intrigued by the idea of seeing what this fine lass has to offer. I don't know that it's going to make a big difference, but I'm a curious little kitten, so I got to go try it out. You know what I mean? When you see this guy, you think kitten, don't you? I mean, Rogier came in in the clutch. That's right. Rogier was big time when we needed Rogier. So I'm thinking that this 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 person's gonna be pretty awesome too. Because everybody in this castle, besides the enemies, seems to be great. We do this for Rogier. Lou. Then Rajier, we rent, we met him in the castle and he sold us stuff. I mean, he was like dual bro. Oh yeah. Let's go. I wish I could summon her during his second phase. I'm playing on Xbox Gate. All right, here we go. Let's go. heals herself oh shit all right let's go all right i'm gonna need you to tank him girl because your boy ain't got a chance against this fire oh, shit. oh 
Oh! Oh no. while it lasted. don't know because I, I, I without fire resistance I just don't know that I have much of a chance I mean seriously that that fire is beyond is so far beyond my ability I mean she's awesome but like I essentially have no fire resistance unless this this have it says exact same fire resistance so I mean even that's not gonna help um, I don't think I even have. Yeah, I don't have anything that'll do it. Okay, I gotta pee real quick. I'll be right back. I just don't, I just don't think that this guy is in the cards for us right now. I really, like, I just really don't. I think it's good to know that we have her available to us. I'm going to go explore another part of the castle, but I just don't see it. Um, Elise, if you're trying to figure out what the rules are for this run, it's no spoilers, no backseating of any kind. Do not tell me what to do, where to go any of that stuff until unless I specifically ask and you will know if I'm asking if that's what you're trying to figure out but it goes to anybody that's in chat I like figuring these games out I am convinced that I am probably totally under leveled for what I'm doing right now but that's okay All right, I want to go see. Is there anything else in here? No. There is nothing. Good enough. Good enough. I'm fine with dying. I think I'm going to end up leaving this area. Also, oh, we 
go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go, I want to go somewhere else. Just so that we can figure out how to get, like, I don't know. I, I just, I need more fire resistance. Like, right now, I, I feel way too weak for what it is that we're currently trying to accomplish. So, I'm going to take us to... Actually, how do I take... Let's see. Um, I forgot how to go to... That, like, neat, cool little, like, Knights of the Round table place. What's up, SpongeBob? Night, Kapow. All right. I've got a ton of, like, stone things. So let's talk to the... Blacksmith. Maybe sell a thing or two. It's all the same. Uh, these are Bad Sony WM1000XM4s. Or WF1000XM4s. SpongeBob. I'm not sponsored by Sony. Alright. Wooden shield. We're going to go ahead and sell... Stuff. So let's Okay, I got four thousand strength and armament. I really do love this katana. Axes. Well, the axe is actually almost more powerful than the katana, but the axe is a hard. Like, doesn't poke as well. I still really want to get my strength up so I can use the tree sentinels thing, but... That's good. Maybe... This doesn't do anything. Is the least. Um, if you have small ears, SpongeBob, they can take some real getting used to. Which I do have small ears. I, the small tips work, but they 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 
had an adjustment period for sure. All right, where do I want to go? Night-night, Elf. You want to know one of the worst things about my trip to Portland this weekend was that I forgot my earphones. And these are noise canceling, and the noise canceling is fantastic. And oh my god, flying in an airplane without my noise canceling earphones. Misery. It was rough. Oh, I'm just honestly, at least the only the only goal I have for this game is just to enjoy what it has to offer, to beat as many bosses as I can. This is not one of my uh, mental health like analysis games. If you want that, I've got like Psychonauts that we're currently playing through, and then a whole bunch of the other ones on my YouTube channel with like Red Dead and stuff. This. This Elden Ring run is literally for the joy of learning. Which I love doing and am passionate about. And this game gives me something to... It challenges me and it's just... It's really an exciting thing to play. So <clears throat> I don't have any goal other than just make my guy as strong as possible. Kill as many things as I can. Call it a day. earphones do you have? These, the WF XM4s. Oh yeah, it's been great. At least I've been enjoying it a lot. If anybody's new here, by the way, I'm really glad to have you here. <coughs> Thanks for taking the time to check out my channel. If you were on the browse page and you thought, hey, this guy seems like maybe he's cool. I really do appreciate you giving me a chance. I hope that you do think I'm cool. I think you're cool. Elden Ring is a game we generally play on Tuesdays and then usually like one other day through the week. Their other days are spent doing the like mental health let's plays. God, we're in bear country. Oh god. You lady. Who's this guy? Oh, wow, that went way easier than last time. Try to go sneaky, sneaky. Not want to fight that thing if I can help it. Keep scratching, Baloo.
you going, buddy? Watch him, like, lead me to just my certain doom. These are the moments of this game that I love the best, by the way. Other than, like, when you kill an, a huge boss. Like, I love just when there's, like, something random like this. You have no idea what it is. No idea what it means. And you just, like, go with it. The same world as we are fighting fire-breathing falcons and Frankenstein-esque creatures, there are also, like, normal bears to fight, right? It's awesome. You taking me, buddy? These ruins? To a giant bear. That's not... Oh, it's guarding something. Guarding, like, some sort of dungeon or something. Think I can sneak by it and get downstairs without waking it up? Nope. Hey, don't worry about me. See ya. Here we are again. Seriously, I've been tarnished. I've been tarnished. We've had one chest that took me to the pits of hell, and we had another chest that gave me something super useful. Ah! Axe talisman. Don't I already have that? No, I do not. I have the hammer talisman. Enhances charge attacks. Ooh, that actually seems useful. I think we'll equip that. All right, that was worth it. Two out of three so far. Statistics dictate. Oh, that bear's pissed though. I wonder if I can take pot shots at him from under here. Just like, oh! I'm just whacking this bear in the dick. He doesn't like it. I can't say I blame him. Never shoot a guy in the dick, Butters. One way to do it. All right, are there any thoughts you can share about how to approach people that feel like they don't deserve help, attention from their friends? Well, one, that's not a feeling. That's a narrative and a judgment that a person has made about themselves. And I generally don't believe that it is the job of people that are external to convince somebody that they are uh, worthy. I mean, certainly you can say things like, hey, you know, I'm here because I want to be and I don't perceive you as a burden, but to actually knock that out of a person's, like, self-narrative, that's for that person to, like, figure out in therapy and stuff. I mean, friends can help with that, but you external forces can't be the only thing that prop a person up. 
I mean, it's one thing if it's like an acute thing that's going on that like a person needs an extra bit of a hand, but uh, it's a really tricky one. Like usually we're talking about like if you need to set boundaries, you would do that. If you are, you know, like if you need to have time away from that person, maybe telling that person the effect that their actions have on you, but it's not your responsibility to change that. What's the cause of insomnia? I know anxiety and depression have varying reasons for it, likely reasons for insomnia. Sleep is not an expertise of mine, so unfortunately, I do not have an answer for you on that, Elise. I don't do sleep, like, uh, research or anything like that to know what all goes into that. I know that it can be very frustrating for folks. It can be a pretty nasty positive feedback loop, but... There are, like, actual legitimate medical reasons why that can happen for a person, and since I'm not a medical doctor, I can't really go into those. I've been doing meditation, and I study a lot of mindfulness and law of attraction things. Changed my life, saved my life. I'm glad to hear that, SpongeBob. later. That bear is so immersed in scratching that tree that it didn't care about what I'm doing. Why can't I get my... with ADHD and getting tested for it. I'm only asking because I got tested last year and it came back. I didn't have it but I had symptoms due to a combination of factors. Would it be worth it to get retested? Depends on how long it's been. Um, I'm generally you know, if you want to get retested for it and you have the means to do that by all means, go for it. Um, I would say that like it's okay to get a second opinion. If on the second opinion it's still pretty clear that you don't fit the diagnostic criteria at that point we're it's not that like you don't still treat it but it may just mean that like there's some certain symptoms that we would treat but not necessarily call it that specific diagnosis like you don't have to have a diagnosis to still benefit from therapy so i mean you could you can get assessed again by all means uh, if they come back and say, yeah, actually, you do fit, then cool. If they come back and say, no, you still don't fit, that's okay, too. I like fighting these guys because it makes me feel strong. Until they whoop my ass. Oh, where did all of you come from? And this sword upgrade was clutch. That was good. A lot of souls there. No. Yeah. Vitality is probably going to be an important thing for me to pick up here. I'm just, I just need more health. That, that is certainly. I beat the tree sentinel in my second stream. 
without leveling up. One of the proudest moments in a Souls game I've ever had. It's great. Oh yeah, absolutely, Skog. Like you, you go back and you actually can dominate. It's great. Also, I really want to fight that bird again. You guys remember that crazy ass bird that came out of nowhere? Even though I didn't talk and chat every time, your late night streams are such a great pick me up during a night shift. Thanks. Gavin, what's up, man? I'm happy to keep you company. Yeah, for those of you that my VODs keep you company throughout your day, I am honored that you choose me to help get you through whatever it is you're trying to do. So thanks for thanks for taking me along for the ride. Old sorcerer. Ah. Oh no! I'm, I don't. Okay. Oh shit, dude! All right, I got a little cocky there. That guy's just like, all right, man, I don't want any part of this. I already died once. Too bad. You die again because I need your souls. Do you feel more powerful? Yeah! What are you guys digging for, huh? Also, with the amount of crafting materials that are, there, that are in this game, something tells me that it would behoove me to learn some crafting. Maybe I can make some cool stuff. All right, I think this is... I think we might be coming up on the area where that bird was. Maybe. Does that look right? It looks right to me. You, my therapist, and love for mental health are what makes me aspire to become one myself. Do it! There was like, there was like some girl that was here. Homing instinct painting. Maybe not. All right, artist check. I want to know. know what those do don't tell me chat i want to know what those do oh wait there we go reminiscence of the painting homing instinct work of a wandering artist reminiscence of a painting titled homing instinct this painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace soul of the painter and the vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now oh cool this painter is said to have captured the landscape scene. So you just have to like try to find that spot. That's neat. Okay. What build are you using for this playthrough? I'm a vagabond and I am... Look how gorgeous this is. I'm a vagabond and I'm sword and board basically all the way.
God, this is so freaking pretty. Look at this. Holy hell, man. Wow. All right, we ride. I'm going to cross this bridge. Am I going to go over here? Oh, this the trolls pulling the cart. All right, I know where we are. This is also where... Oh, look at... Okay, so we got this big-ass army of dudes... I don't think we've been down here yet, so we're gonna go this way. Got more crabs down here, more death mosquitoes. Go up the top of this. I wanna fight the death bird. Fries. Small fries. Family ties. Smoked rib eyes. Oh shit, we got another magic guy. I don't want to mess with the magic guy. Magic guy, gonna take my ass out. on at night or do you day stream as well i very rarely day stream i try to day stream on thursdays if i can my life has been a little bit of a shit show off stream over the last couple weeks so i have unfortunately not been as available for day streaming as i would normally like to be i was able to go live a couple thursdays ago though for a nice long stream which was a lot of fun Unlike getting shot by this magic guy, not enjoying that. Um, but I am normally a night streamer. Yeah. Also, do not ask. Uh, do not ask like questions about what do I have or not have, because that can inherently be a spoiler. It suggests things that I either should have or should potentially know about that maybe I don't know about. Like I, when I say no backseating, I mean it to like the most in like the most hardcore way possible. Like literally nothing. These? Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, why, what? Uh, let's see. 
let's make sure I never do that again. Alright, we got one mage down. I'd like to take out the other mage just because... That's who ruins my day. See? Burning through these goddamn flasks because of these idiots. Come on. Royal House Scroll. I don't know what that is, but sounds important. You have to buy things for the flasks, or can you just buy the flasks outright? So you have to find... In order to get more flasks, you have to find these things called golden seeds. When you find golden seeds, you when you get a certain amount of them, you can upgrade how many of the flasks you can carry at one time. You have to sit at a site of grace in order to refill your flasks. Although sometimes there are things in the world that will allow you to refill them. Like, there's these little beetle things that'll do it. I use currency to buy, like, weapons and armor sometimes from, like, smiths and to upgrade your stuff. Starlight shards. Get what that's used for. Doing pretty good on souls here, though. I'm thinking that I can kill some of these guys, find a site of grace, and maybe we'll get a vitality upgrade. how well I'm burning through these guys now. Right, like nice three shot like that. Nice and clean. Putting these guys out of their misery at this point. Bugler? No. Don't play that horn. Thine, thine horn. See, like right there, that red right there replenished my flask. Aristocrat garb. I don't know that that's exactly what your boy's looking for. Nope, sure ain't. What's up, Clipper? Uh, I want to fight something big, man. I want to like touch grace somewhere and then like I want to I want to get into some kind of big battle. And I think I need at least like 70. I want to say like I need like 7,500 or so to get to the vitality upgrade. So we gotta like really knock some of these people out. What? What? I, that's not what I meant by fight a big thing. What are we? What? What? Not what I meant. Not what I meant! No! <laughs> no! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, keep running. Come on, baby. Keep running. Let him kill everybody in his sight. Jeez, dude.
Holy crap. Yeah, be careful. That was like perfect timing. Yeah, I really want to fight something big. Guy turns into a bear. Game always has you on your toes, man. You just can't you can't take any exchange for granted ever. Right, like now like now I'm afraid to attack these guys. Or fear they may become a bear. I know it's in that cart. Also, I'm playing with fire here. I always say that I'm gonna refill my flask before I go do anything new. And here I am not following my own advice. What is going on here? What is this music? Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I can't. There we go. I can get some vigor. A little vigor. Ooh, and I get defense uh, power against fire. That's huge. So I need 59. Oh, I need 5,900 for the next one. Good. Actually, also, let's pass time to morning. Because I don't like playing at night. Not every guy will turn into a bear just because one guy did. I'm aware of that. But here's the thing, right? Now that it happened one time, it means that it's possible. So now, all of a sudden, there's a new thing I have to attend to when I'm determining whether I want to engage in battle that I ne did not realize I had to be aware of. So what I love about that from a game design standpoint is it makes it so that you don't take these moments for granted. Like, you, you don't... All of a sudden now, right? Like, I find a guy solo, and I think, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. But because I've seen a guy literally turn into a giant ass bear, now I'm a little more weird. And it's, it's just really good because, I mean, this game is essentially designed to keep you on edge. And that's a really, really good way to do it. What's up, Melodic? That does ring a bell. It's good to see you. This looks like a fun bridge to cross. Bridge of Sacrifice. Well, I hope I'm not the one being sacrificed. Now, I did see that there's like an arrow guy here, so luckily I've learned from... Same ones I already had, so we'll sell those. Probably gonna have to book it, right? Yep. Fire arrows! Alright, we're booking it. We're gonna get on the steed. We're gonna book it! Go baby go! Go baby go! Go baby go! Uh oh. Ooh, nice. I will never turn down a stone sword key. Oh. 
zoom in on soldiers' faces. Are they undead or normal dudes? Uh, they look like they're probably undead. But I don't know for sure. Alright, we crossed the Bridge of Sacrifice. And the only thing that was sacrificed for the not-me's on the bridge. And we get more grace over here. I like that. The Weeping Peninsula. Jeez. Could this be any more depressing of a place? Are you dead? You look like they're zombie. Ooh, who's this? Who's this? Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander, I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle. And my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Sure. Thank you. Dearly. Then please, take this. I mean, this is essentially just Death Stranding all over father, again. Who remains in the castle, if you please. Death Stranding, but far please. deadlier. If you wouldn't mind, he can be safe. Like, I'm just a glorified postman. That's all I am. Oh, God. It's perfect. Twenty four hundred souls. Uh, how many flasks I got? Eight. All right. I'll bet that chick is who messed all these dudes up. Guaranteed. All right, the castle mourn. Guarded by trolls. I want to fight something big, so we're going to fight that troll. I oh, I should, you know what? If I'm going to go in here, I should absolutely touch Grace. I should, or I should go sit at the campfire instead of just touching it because it's too far away. Let's go sit. Here. Now I'm imagining Norman Reedus in one of these helmets in bright purple, right? Uh, you know what? Why not? Okay, I don't understand why me altering this. I mean, I get that it takes the weight down, but it makes it makes my knight or my armor so much shittier. Ooh, I wonder. Heavy thrusting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, hold on a second.
ahead and put the axe in there and this dagger in there. I feel as though I have a tendency toward focusing on the negative as in what I'm bad at, still struggling with, to the point that I easily forget about the fact that I've actually made a lot of progress in different areas. I need tips on moving toward a more positive, focused mindset. Yeah, it's got to be intentional. Uh, you don't just start thinking more positively and reframing your world in a more productive way just because you want to. You have to actively participate in that. So ask yourself what you would say instead and then intentionally implement that mindset. Anytime you find yourself skewing toward the negative, what I say to folks all the time is when you find yourself skewing to the negative, intercept it and then replace it with the alternative. And you have to do that intentionally until it becomes autopilot. And if you've been doing that for a real long time, you got a lot of work to do to re-author that autopilot. It takes time. This is cool. I like going pokey pokey here, especially with the way that I play this game. Like I can keep everything at a distance and just poke at him. This is good. This is nice. It's a little bit quicker. At least it seems like it. But it's the same applies to apply to people who self-sabotage. Well, kind of. Self-sabotage is behavioral. So, I mean, I suppose if a person is choosing behaviors that are self-sabotaging in nature, yeah, you'd have to choose alternative behaviors. But you can, you can bias yourself into crappy situations with confirmation bias. Like, if you only expect the worst to happen then you are only prepared for the worst. And if you're only prepared for the worst, that's what you're going to expect and get used to. It's a really nasty cycle. Because it'll make you anxious when you actually have something where it goes well. Because you weren't prepared for it. You don't know what to what that means or like what to expect from it. So that's why I'm a big proponent of managing your expectations in a given point in time. Because if you don't manage your... Like, expectations are super underrated. You can literally bias yourself into certain ways of thinking about things by how you, like, how you expect them to go. God damn it. God damn it. similar to what I've been doing. If a situation is not how I want, I ask myself how would I act if it was? Then I try to act like that. Yep. I try to help folks do that all the time. All the time. Alright, not a big fan of the morning star. Not a big fan of the morning star. Back up, back up, back up. Really? Really? I feel like at times I'm afraid of success. I've always struggled and I'm trying to do better. Being successful kind of scares me a bit. Like I want to be successful, but seem to just go one step forward and two steps back. Yeah. So it's very similar to depression. A lot of times people want to feel happier, but they are afraid of what it will mean if they do. So, if you start to feel better, usually what that means is that you have to address some stuff that you haven't been addressing. And you have the energy to do it now. But you don't know what that means for you. You don't know if that's good for you. You don't know the first thing about the expectations that you want to have around you. Now, all of a sudden, 
it's kind of like people will sabotage and they'll focus on little things that maintain their sense of depression because it's way easier to do that. You don't have to deal with the big stuff when you can trip over the little stuff. And it's a really vicious cycle. And it's one that a lot of people find themselves in. And it's important to understand that that process can happen to us because then we can make better decisions knowing that the positivity, any anxiety associated with progress is totally to be expected. work and well you'll be doing it for the rest of your life but it's better than the alternative right but for some people the alternative is a lot simpler they understand the alternative a lot better humans don't like change even if change is for the better humans don't like it change is associated with risk and uncertainty things that humans don't do well with That's something that I really like to make sure that people understand because if you don't understand that, you will create ridiculous expectations for yourself and for the world around you and you don't want to be doing that. And if you're interested in this conversation we're having about expectations, I certainly encourage you to check out my video on YouTube about cognitive schemas. Because it goes into some real significant depth about that concept in a way that I think is accessible and important for people to understand. Shit, those dogs. Stomp on the dogs. Oh shit. Oh shit. Run. Fucking A, man. I forgot about the dogs. Completely forgot about the dogs. Yes, if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, you should probably do that at this point. Because, like, a lot of the stuff that I will talk about here on stream, I have a video on YouTube that goes into, like, extra depth. So these are things that I kind of built my build my core, I want to call it practice, ideology, theorizing, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's what I build it around, so. It's important that I be able to articulate it well, or else what the hell am I doing? Lord Sorn Straight Sword. That would be better than that. pick this up do you have a video on lack of discipline uh i don't but one of the mental health topic videos that i will be doing in the near future ish is about motivation and discipline and why you should not go for motivation you should instead try to build discipline i do have a video about distress tolerance which kind of covers uh some pieces of that Lack of discipline is literally just kind of comes down to low distress tolerance and um, not breaking things down into small manageable goals, like having things be too vague and too big. Like you have to make actionable steps on things or else you're in trouble. I hear that, I'm on meds for my depression. It was my biggest low in life six months ago and had I not turned to sources I did, I, think I don't think I'd be here. For me, there's no option but to try to look up most of the time. It's hard. 
a lot of success in my life happened because I was prepared and ready for the worst things to happen and it never felt unhealthy to have a mindset for myself. Hope for the best, be ready for the worst. Well, so yeah, I mean, there's always going to be somebody that gives me an example that goes counter to what I say on that. And I'm not trying to suggest that like your experience is null and void. What I will say though, is that more often than not, when people expect the worst, they overly focus and prepare for the worst. It's good to understand what the worst case scenario is, but a lot of people overly plan for the worst and not for what it might mean if the good thing happens or if the in-between happens. Because remember, like, life's not really black and white in the sense that, like, you're always going to have the best or the worst happen. Like, sometimes it's just some mediocre thing in the middle. the Distress Talents video thinking it would relate in some way to that. Lack of discipline has always been my biggest issue. The good news is, and I say this to anybody watching this video, the good news is, if discipline is something you struggle with, it is something you can build. Discipline is not an inherent character trait. Discipline is learned. Discipline is something you actively participate in building. It's not a, you know, just some like tiny thing that you're born with and you just, you either have it or you don't. And a lot of people like to talk about it that way. Like, I just don't have any discipline. Well, you have to build it. It's like a muscle. You don't build muscle by hoping that it gets bigger. You build muscle by actively exercising muscles, putting work into them. even when you don't want to do them. Like, all discipline is, is just doing something that you know is best for you, or you know that you want to do or set out for yourself, even when you don't want to. That's all it is. So many people waste time thinking about doing things without realizing that, like, thinking about a thing is not doing a thing. Doing the thing is doing it. And there's only so much other people can do to facilitate that process. Like, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make it drink. Like, that That very much applies to humans. Now, are there very real constraints that make it difficult for some folks to access that over others? Yes. I am not naive to the fact that depression makes some of these things harder. That ADHD can make some of these things harder. Like, there are very real things that affect people's discipline and the sense that they can get things done. But even with depression, the thing that folks got to remember is that, like, what we know about depression from countless studies is that the first steps to moving through depression are to eat better, to get sleep, and to get exercise. Even if it means just walking around your house for a little bit. Like, you got to move your body. And nobody can force you to do that. You have to force yourself to do that. You break it down into small manageable chunks, makes it a little bit easier to do. And then a lot of times people say, well, I don't feel better when I do that. It's like, yeah, you're not gonna. You're not gonna feel better when you do it once. You're not gonna feel better when you do it twice. It's gonna take a lot of prolonged work in order to implement any real like autopilot-like change in your life. That's unfortunately just the reality of it. And then with depression and stuff, you get into the identity portions of it. Where people tie depression to their sense of who they are. That gets pretty dangerous pretty fast. All sorts of stuff. Also, hey, Wolf. Good to see you. I've been suffering from depression for most of my life. Had a lot of bad happening, but it was the tip of the iceberg. I didn't think I'd make it through. I'm shocked how far my mental health has come every day. It sounds like you're working on it, so that's awesome. I struggle to even want to build the discipline. Shit's scary. Yeah, it is. Right? Because, again, I, I mean, I totally hear what you're saying, Drusk, because when you, when you have the energy, it then becomes, now what do I have to attend to with this energy? Depression is a very, uh, shall we say, convenient way 
to not have to attend to things. It provides a very legitimate excuse not to tackle some of the bigger things that go on in one's life. And I'm not saying that people use depression, depression maliciously as an excuse, but people certainly do fall back on it, and they know what to expect when they're depressed. How does one work to coming to terms on with being in a situation that's undesirable and pleasant, especially when it has factors that are out of your control? Uh, you focus on what you can control. We have to... We take the uncontrollable variables and we take them as are, as they are. A lot of people will take uncontrollable variables and will attempt to exert influence on them, albeit mentally or physically. And you have to take those uncontrollable variables as is and then move the energy over to what within this can I influence? What do I have control over? and exert influence on that. It's acceptance of constraint and focus on control. And as I have to reiterate periodically, the stuff that we're talking about here that I'm kind of providing my thoughts on, these are things that therapists are equipped to help folks work through. Like, this is literally what I make my living doing, is helping people deal with these things. And create plans for how to navigate it. And it takes time. This stuff's not easy, chat. It's easy for me to say it. Who the hell is this guy? The hell? You got something on your back, brother. Hey, you pokey pokey like me. A tree dudes. Damn, I like this thing because it makes these guys stagger. Awesome. Nice little stroll here we have going on. Do you think you think I can sneak up on this guy? Oh yeah. That is so satisfying, man. Oh, there's another one of those flowers down there. I'm more interested in this castle that's up on the hill. If this game had a glider, it would be ridiculous. It's already a ridiculous game, but... Alright, we got another... What do we got? A field of sheep again? I'm waiting for that death bird to fall down, because I killed some sheep last time there was a death bird. So, how am I doing on souls? 4,804. Like, what is it? Like, 52.99 to get more vigor? Oh, here we go. We got more fellas to fight. Howdy, folks. Kill the bugler. Nope. I love this sword. This sword is awesome. The amount of reach. Uh oh. Perhaps I touch Grace first. Is there going to be another invader? This feels very invady. Church of Pilgrimage. Which sword is that? This is the Great Ippy. I think that's how you say that. Sacred tear. Tear. 
Ooh, that's actually huge because I can upgrade. I'm pretty sure that's what I use to upgrade how many uh, or how much like, my flask. Look at that. Oh, you just poke the shit out of them. It's awesome. Dagger like crazy. Oh, this is great. This is great. Lots of runes from these skulls. This is excellent. This is keen. This wooden sword, this wooden shield, is better than a gilded iron shield. That is disappointing. That is so disappointing. I was really hoping that that thing was going to be badass. Lame. Golden centipede. Hey, I know I say this a lot, chat, but I'm going to say it again because I really do mean it. Thank you all for being here. If you're watching the YouTube VOD, I know there haven't really been any boss fights tonight. But thank you for watching my stuff on YouTube. Thank you for watching my stuff live on Twitch. I am really grateful to be able to facilitate such an amazing community. I am really glad that you're here, whether you chat, whether you lurk, if you just watch the VODs, however it is that you hang out here, no matter. Also, I've got some cool uh, announcements tomorrow, or not tomorrow, because I'm not streaming tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday, for those of you that are here on Twitch, but uh, I've got some cool announcements coming up. That if you're watching this, you know, long in the future, you'll already know what it is, but... Oh! What is this? A thing that's been really getting me down is just in the meantime and waiting period of stuff like i have some appointments for my health issues but they're so far out it's negatively impacting me now so what do i do in the meantime uh you know it depends on your relative situation so i don't know exactly what would be best for you mel uh, melodic but uh, one of the things that i will tell people in those types of situations is again focus on what you can control Focus your energy on the fact that you do have appointments coming up. So that means that you are, you know, you are taking care of things. But again, it's all about focusing on what you can control in the moment. I, I'm not trying to sound like a broken record on that. I really do mean it. It's, it's an, a very important mindset shift. Mausoleum Prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. O Marika, Queen Eternal, here is your unwanted child. an appointment in about a month in the meantime would it be helpful to be writing things down that i want to bring up yeah absolutely absolutely 
I mean, when you go in, I mean, think, yeah, like think about that, right? That, that brings up a good point, is if you know that you're gonna be going to therapy at some point, and you know that you're gonna get things addressed, use the time period in the meantime to prepare for that moment so that you can really take advantage of it when you get there right like how much of a bummer would it be that if you've been waiting for months to get into an appointment to talk to your therapist and then you sit down for your first session the therapist says hey so what brings you in and you go uh, uh a lot of stuff and uh and you get tripped up right like that would really suck so if you have stuff that comes up you can notice like patterns you can like really sit down with yourself and ask like what is it that i am trying to actually accomplish what's What's actually creating problems for me right now? It would be, and that's a great way to do it. To like write things down is, is a wonderful way. I've had people come into their first session with me and open up an entire notebook of notes. Sometimes folks will even say, will even offer for me to uh, to read like their journal that they kept uh, while they were waiting to come in. That, that is not unheard of. I have had that happen. So, you know, there's all sorts of things you can do, but it's your time. It's your health. You having a better idea and having it written down in concrete so that you can save yourself some time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, also, okay, I want to make sure I say this because it's like, oh my god, it's already 1 o'clock, holy shit. Um, okay, so, uh, as a small announcement-ish, small-ish, to those of you that are here right now, because you're part of the very late night crew, this, uh, this week, I am going to be soliciting mod applications. If you are here regularly, particularly late at night, like right now, and you are interested in being a part of the community in a more um, active way, I am looking for folks to join the mod team. So if you are, if that's something you think you might be interested in, it's honestly, it's not that difficult of a job because people are really awesome here and they make your life very easy. It's rare that there are any like big significant mod decisions that have to get made in real time. But uh, if you wanna, if you wanna have more impact on the community and be part of the mod team, look out for the Discord announcement that's going to go out tomorrow. And I will be happy to introduce you to the application process. It's a uh, probably a little bit more involved of an application process than most Twitch communities are, but that's just because this is a space that so many people turn to to feel safe. And because of the mental health spin on things, I do have to be very mindful of kind of the the crew that is helping facilitate this but I will say that like um, the the mod team is a real, oh crap, the mod team is a really great group of people uh, there's a lot of trust uh, a lot of shit. a lot of respect and uh, we have some fun conversations too so if you think that's something that you might be interested in being involved with, uh, like I said, it'll be the application process is going to be listed in Discord. And it's all good. I do mod application solicitations relatively... Well, I don't know what I call it. But we do them often enough that, like, if you can't get in on this one, that's totally okay. I will say that one of the main criteria that we keep into account is like if you will vibe well with the mod team and sometimes we can tell that uh, somewhat easily by how you hang out and chat and stuff but I, the one thing that I do promise to people is that if you do not get added to the mod team you will know why I will explain why winged sight Strong enough for that, apparently. You don't have the 
dexterity for it? Oh, this is blood loss buildup. No. Seemed cool. Bummer, I can't use it. <clears throat> yeah, early last year, I think, was the last time I ran. When I moved to YouTube, there was less of a need for it. But now that I'm back on Twitch and that the stream is growing in the way that it is, this is a good time for us to get a few people in. And I, and I definitely need some folks that are able to be here during the later portions of the stream. Granted, it, things quiet down a little bit as it gets late, but it would be nice to have a mod or two. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there for folks. Boy, I am really far away from the last grace that I touched, so Let's go sit at this one. Fourth Church of Mary Churches. Also, that bell in the background, ominous AF. You have experience with BPD. How do you deal with intrusive thoughts and scenarios in your head causing anxiety and stuff? I usually deal with most of Sometimes it gets overwhelming. All right, so uh, two things, DHB. First, I have two videos on YouTube. One's about borderline personality disorder. The other one is about intrusive thoughts. I recommend that you watch both of them. The thing, the core component of how I talk folks through intrusive thoughts is to realize that dealing with intrusive thoughts is not about making the intrusive thoughts go away. It is about how it is about altering the way in which you respond to your intrusive thoughts. A lot of people get really wrapped up in like I want these to go away because they are distressing, right? But intrusive thoughts are any thoughts you have that you don't want to have in your mind. Whether good or bad. So, it's how do I change my response? What do I tell myself in response to the fact that these thoughts are present? What do I do in response to those thoughts? Those are, those are going to be the major focus. be scary but the other thing uh oh yeah boop i can do that okay so the other thing that is important to realize about intrusive thoughts is that thoughts are not inherently bad it, when i when i say thinking about doing something isn't doing something in relation to discipline i also mean that in terms of like quote unquote bad intrusive thoughts that you thinking I want to drive my car off a bridge is not driving your car off a bridge. And that's an important distinction. Sometimes people think they're bad people because of the hell, because of the thoughts they have. Oh. This is like Shadow of the Colossus.
clean off his feet completely. We're gonna find out. This is massively So ominous. friend who tends to take everything seriously when something goes wrong he makes it like the end of the world proceeds to be negative I've tried explaining to him that I'm here for him and that all my friends enjoy his time however he feels as if he is hated says things like if you don't want me here I'll just leave I've assured him multiple times we do he's wanted more however out of space uh is there a question there umbral thank you for the kind word by the way about what I do that can be a very frustrating scenario to be in, for sure. The Remembrance Duplication menu, you can duplicate remembrances you previously acquired. You can only perform once per mausoleum. Alright. Well. How would I handle that? Uh, okay, so it's difficult because I don't know you, I don't know your friend. But what I will say is people who seek excessive reassurance for their worthiness in relation to friends can become quite frustrating to be around. The best answer that I can give to this is one that is maybe going to seem like it's lacking, but it really isn't, which is that you have to determine what your boundaries are with that person. Because if that type of vibe is something that you're not cool with and is frustrating, then telling that person the effect that that has, I think is important, right? Like if it's like something along the lines of, hey man, if you keep doing this, like, I'm gonna feel inclined to limit how often I hang out with you and I really don't wanna do that. Like, you can only speak to your own personal experience. It's not your job to change that person's behavior, to make them do something different. It's only, the only thing you can control is your boundaries and explaining how you're affected by it. And maybe trying to problem solve with that person if they're open to it. See what's in that castle. Yeah, I mean, it is a first step for sure, Umbral, but like, that's the thing, right? It's like, it affects the 
time that you spend together to have a person continue to engage in that type of excessive reassurance seeking was like those behaviors. And so it really then at that point comes down to, you know, acknowledging that you have an issue is great, but then what are you doing to address it? And if we deem that the efforts that a friend is putting forth to addressing some of their issues is not enough because it's still adversely affecting the friendship itself. Now we're talking about boundaries, potentially limiting how much we hang out with that person, right? Like it's, it's tricky. Don't get me wrong. Cause we don't want to like, you know, give up on friends or seem like we're shitty friends, but like having boundaries with your friends doesn't make you a shitty friend. Being frustrated with your friend and not saying anything and then changing your behavior in a way that they can't really track, that's a lot less cool. And saying outright, hey man, I appreciate that you've acknowledged that this is an issue at the same time. It's making it really hard to hang out with you and I, and I don't want it to be hard to hang out with you. That's when we start getting into talking about things like excessive reassurance seeking because if a person is consistently told that they're not burdensome, they continue to project that burdensomeness into those friendships, that gets really frustrating. Because ultimately it's not about worthiness, it's about the anxiety associated with the sense of and that's why people seek excessive reassurance. You bet, Sudith. I don't know if I want to, because my sense is that that chest is going to take me somewhere. And I don't know if I want to go where that chest is going to take me. All right. When are you going to play Destiny again? Grizz, I'm down. Uh, if you want to raid on Friday... Hit me up, because we're we're probably gonna do Friday. Uh, we'll probably do a raid on Friday. Lindell, the royal capital. Also, good to see you, bud. I open it. You kidding me? I want to know where this is going. Oh, who's that big boy out there? We fought one of these earlier, or a couple streams ago. Yeah. You just got to stay really close to him. That's all. Gotta, you just gotta fight, get at, get at his little feetsies, that's all.
I did want to fight something big. I got a little, a little greedy on that. Started again, not done with the new, done. Oh, yeah, I mean, the newest raid's great. Oh, I did say that. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, Grizz. So, if you want to join us on Friday, yeah, dude. would love to have you in. I can maybe just get to the chest. Let me get him over here. We're gonna kite him over here. I'm gonna go try to open up that chest. Run, Ryan. Run. 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 Give me your treasure. Okay. Got a nice talisman. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, it's fine. We got what we needed. Oh, jeez. I mean, he's just got—he's got way more health than the other guy that was sleeping. The other sleepy dude, we took out pretty quickly. Oh my god, it's 1.30. I really should probably go to bed. But I love this game so much. I'm gonna take this teleporter. Cannot be used now. Oh shit, so I do gotta take this guy out. Alright. Stick to his foot. Stick to his foot. That's all we're gonna do. Over here. Oh, okay. All right. I now I remember. You can do a lot of damage to him. Oh, to his feet. Okay. Whatever. All right. Now I get it. Now I get it. So we gotta get him knocked down. We go around to his. We go around to the front. We do the massive slash on him. We do a huge amount of damage. All right, we're beating this guy. We're taking this guy out. I don't want to go to bed until I beat him. Nah, 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 nah. It's all about the patience. I just don't want to get too greedy. I just got to stick with his foot the whole way. Take shots at it where I can. Get behind him. Right? Just like that. All right, we're fine. Make sure I have enough stamina at all times. Right, when he hits
hits me with that backhand. We need a weapon maybe that's a little faster. Maybe we try the katana. We try the katana. We're gonna see. But when he does that move is brutal. I can cry, man. I can cry. I can cry. Oh. That's the strat, man. That's the strat. That was not great. I gotta make sure. <sighs> man. He's close, buddy. He's gotta be. I gotta be more patient with this. I gotta get him up against the walls. 
always about patience, man. Hey, but he goes over there. I need to kite him back. You know? Like, get away from the edge. Don't. I can do this. I can do this. Oh man, what's up? Charmander. I wanna say I love your content, thank you. Yeah, getting stuck on the walls is what's killing me here. My right foot, you just gotta stay behind it. I wonder if I'm better off not locking on. I actually think that may, oh yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna lock on. I'm just gonna follow his feet. Geometry, man. It's the geometry. What's up, General Andrews? You fabulous human. 
Y'all, if you don't follow General Andrews, do it. He's awesome. He's fabulous. He's an incredible human. And it has been my honor and privilege to be, to be on his podcast four times in a row. One of the best influences you could have in your life on Twitch. Cannot recommend him enough. General, I hope you had a great stream. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. We are currently fighting this big-ass Goliath guy who really sucks. He's not fun. Uh, if you're coming along from General Andrews and you don't know who I am, I am Dr. Mick. I'm a licensed couple and family therapist. I have a PhD in human development. This is Game Sessions with a Therapist. Where we play, I mean, cool games, I guess. Like Elden Ring. We'll talk about mental health, psychology, therapy, and more in an effort to destigmatize those things. The information people would otherwise have in a responsible and ethical way. I don't do therapy on stream. I do answer questions related to mental health. You're welcome to ask me at any time. Tag me. Seriously, I do like being tagged. I know a lot of streamers don't. I will do my best to answer your questions. Follow him to the edge here. He's gonna have to run at me here. Happy birthday, Eve. Well, happy birthday, Eve, General. walk through here? I bet he can. This will be interesting if he can walk through here. Yeah. Alright. Alright. That's such bullshit, man. That's such bullshit. All right, we all agree, right? That was bullshit. Until I beat him, or 2 a.m. I literally can't stay up past 2 a.m. The two staying up past 2 a.m. is a bad idea, really bad idea. I was scared you were gonna die from fa falling too long, right? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I just there's no good place to fight him. Like if I could just be out in an open area, I don't think this would be as bad. But the fact that I am in such a confined space. run at me. This is not ideal. Him 
being in here is probably not... that I just need to start backing up. Come on, why don't you come back out here, dude? this Oh no, no Ryan, no. I saw that coming. No. No, no, no. No, no. Oh my god. All right, so I can't do the thing where I drill into his chest with this thing, at least not that I can tell, so I got to switch back. God damn it, dude. Oh, the fire. I knew it was coming too. Oh, I promised guitar tonight, didn't I? Alright. Last one. And then I'm gonna see... I might do just a... Just a teensy, weensy little bit of guitar. So I can see what I'm even capable of.
the edge. You gotta kite him back. I'm not risking it. Not risking it. Not when we're this close. Come toward me, sir. Still hit me. sucks all right one more this is it this is the last one i play a little song on guitar and then i'm done that sucked that hurt final run Stores HP. Whoa. Let's do that because that sounds awesome. And okay. I think the axe is the way to go. Let's see how well it restores HP. Right foot. Here we go. All right, chat. I need all the good vibes in the that you got. That's what I need. Those kind of good vibes. You gotta send me the other kind of good vibes. You gotta send me the other kind of good vibes. Okay, that was a that was a that was a good vibes practice. Okay, that was a good vibes practice, and you you sent it was an adequate amount, but it wasn't the actual amount that we need in order to get this done. Okay, so let's go ahead. And just it's fine. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna we're gonna imagine that you guys are gonna do this correct this time. Perfect practice makes perfect. Here we go. It was fun but you got to have boundaries this is an exercise in boundaries hey you know what not every ending can be happy okay you can't have a happy ending every time those of you that were here on youtube thanks for watching the vod i it was just a it was a night of l's but hey you know i hope that you enjoyed some of the conversations we had while i was getting my ass kicked 
Thanks for supporting my channel. Again, there's a lot of you on YouTube that watch my videos but aren't subscribed. Yes, there are analytics for that. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. Put a like on here. If you have a comment about anything we talked about, anything I said, just don't backseat and don't give me any spoilers. Don't do that. I would love to see them in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. And we're going to we're going to beat this thing. We're going to do it.